I'm mean, reading over the internet, um, even a couple of reviews I've seen people do it saying that uh, with the new Alienwares, um, or even the Alienwares going back to um, 2009, ever since Dell took over Alienware, um, you cannot upgrade the graphics drivers on the Alienwares um, through NVIDIA.com. You have to actually do it through Dell or wait for Dell to actually get the drivers, change them to custom, you know, change them to the Alienware format, whatever they have attached to it. Um, to put their hands on it and then upload it to their site and have you download it through them. That's the only way to update the graphics drivers. Before I bought my um, Alienware 17, um, I read a couple of reviews, watched a couple of reviews, and all the reviewers said the same thing, and which is not true at all. Um, you can update your graphics drivers um, from Invader.com. Um, actually, I'm going to show here because right now the current driver. For the Alienwares, if you buy Alienware off, um, I think it's 311 is the version number. Um, right now I'm running the newest version, which is I think 32723. Um, yeah, 32723 I'm running right now. So basically once you download the, uh, the driver, you have to do something a little different though in order to get them to work. Once you download the driver, um, <clears throat> You have to, you cannot install the experience and you have to do a clean install. You can either uninstall all the drivers from from the PC, reboot it, and then install the driver, um, or you can just run the uh, the clean install from uh, from the NVIDIA EXC, which is something they added. Um, I haven't used an NVIDIA driver in a while. My last laptop was an ATI, so um, I just, I guess this is something that they're doing now. They actually had the clean install with the executable, so it uninstalls the, the old drivers for you. Um, so basically, once you click on the, uh, the the executable, so this is 327.23. This is the newest graphics driver right now. They have a couple of beta drivers, but um, I'm not going to mess around with those. I'll wait for them to come final. And actually, I'll wait until I see like an FPS improvement from the existing driver before I go ahead and... Uh, and upload these or download these and install them. But once you once you go through the system compatibility check, because right here it'll make sure that the, the driver will work. Um, just waiting on this. And it's, I'm not gonna install it, I'm just gonna show you what I mean to not install the experience. Um, once you agree, you wanna go to the custom installation and just uncheck the uh, NVIDIA GeForce experience and put the check in to perform the uh, clean install. And just just sit next and go ahead and install it. It'll probably take about two three minutes, but um, that's pretty much all you do, and it works perfectly fine. You know, you don't have to wait on Dell because Dell takes their sweet time to update drivers. Infinite pushes out drivers very very often. So anyway, I'm gonna do uh, a couple of FPS um, tests, benchmarks, or whatever. Um, probably Tomb Raider, um, Bioshock, and I'll list the specs of the laptop that I have. Um, in the description but it's not I didn't spend like three grand I didn't want to spend that much on a laptop I think it came out to about two um, I, I thought I was crazy if I'm gonna spend that much on a gaming PC a gaming uh, computer I'll just do it on a desktop but being I'm not at home a lot and I do a lot of traveling so that's why I wanted to, to spend the money on this but I'll post those in a separate video thanks